is Audrey and welcome back to my studio. So I am here today, I'm using the um, Warm Wishes Seasonal Sampler Kit from Click Kits in order to make uh, my December Daily Story 10 which is about uh, some new ornaments that I got for the tree this year. So um, I found, I saw that uh, this cut file um, would I thought this cut file would be perfect from Paige Evans, and uh, this was a this was a digital stamp from Allie Edwards. Those are not part of Click Kits, but the rest is all uh, Click Kits. So just so you know, what I do um, when there's going to be a lot of tape is I I laminate the um, the page. So this is laminated. Um, since these are so small, it didn't really stick too much on the lamination, but that's okay. Um, still get the drift. I can still see it. So, um, without further ado, let's dive into my process and see how this layout came together. Thanks for watching, friends. Happy holidays. Okay, let's get this started. My desk is a complete and utter disaster right now. Um, so, because it's all things December daily. Alright, I think I'm going to use this paper. Alright, so I don't really have a very strong direction for this. Actually, I'm not really positive what I want to do. So, I'm just going to play around and I will let you know when I'm done what I did. Thank you. 
Okay, so with that last video, I ended it because what I did was I finished um, getting all my little pieces together. So um, I cut out this cut file and I colored in this this part here, um, the stars and the the uh, the garland because I thought it would be easier because it would just cut out but then I forgot that I had cut out each individual one so whatever it took me a so it took me a little bit of time to weed it out um, so what I do when I when I have a cut file that involves a lot of glue because I'm putting it in my album and I don't want it to get stuck together I have been laminating it so that's what I did here, is I just laminated it. And so now I'm just trimming down the lamination, the laminated part that is outside that I don't really need. So that just did that. And here are my ornaments. So this is going to get punched and that is going to be right. Alright. So I'm putting holes in it so I can see where I'm going to be placing my well, that's kind of a fun backing there, actually, even though I'm going to cover it up, but I kind of like that. All right, um, so then what I have here is my journaling, and I printed my journaling on sticker paper. And that's just gonna, it's just clear sticker, and that's just gonna get placed down here. This is a little dark, but I'm just gonna have to roll with it. That's okay, I can still read it. Now it didn't come out exactly the way I wanted it to. I probably, what I should have done is I should have figured out how to put it up there, but I can still read it if I look at it closely. It's kind of hard. It's it's not that hard to read, so it's not that bad. All right, so now i got to figure out how to put a number on it. So my thought is, just have, this has numbers, so that's good. That comes with the kit. And... This is story 10. Yep, this is number 10. The first half of my album is almost done. I've got two more stories to go. Alright, so... I can either just put a 10 here, or I could put it on here. I kind of think I'm going to put it over here, or maybe down here. I was thinking about putting it on a star, but I think I'm just going to put the 10 down and call it done. It's also getting kind of late at night, and I want to finish this up. Alright, so... The last thing to do is just to get it put into my album, and that is just going to go right on the back of the last story here.
So I'm going to attach it with red line tape. Sometimes when I punch the holes, I just really eyeball it, so I should do it a little bit better, but so I'm going to have to repunch these holes because it's not going to line up perfectly. So because I laminated it, I'm using red line tape. And I'm just going to speed this part up and then meet you back here when it's all finished. So I can fix it. I have these um, from Coco Daisy's kit last year. I have these reinforcement circles that I can use. Um, and they look like they go semi well with the colors. So this way I can cover up the holes. Alright, problem solved. That looks pretty good. I like it. All right, so there you go, friends. That's it. Thank you for watching.